More than 400,000 individuals are currently living with dementia in Australia alone and the prevalence is increasing such that by the year 2050 there will be more than 1 million cases just here in Australia alone. Currently there is no cure or even an effective treatment and this means that it's very important for us to develop preventative strategies so that we can slow or ideally halt the onset of this disease. So we know that changes occur in the brain uh, more than 20 years before an individual can be diagnosed. This gives us a large window of opportunity to modify disease course. A recent commission by the well-respected publication The Lancet estimated that around 35% of dementia cases are attributable to modifiable risk factors such as physical inactivity, smoking, obesity and midlife high blood pressure. This figure of 35% does not include the added risk factor of poor sleep. We know that poor sleep is important. In fact, it's the third pillar of good health, together with diet and exercise. And in fact, the contribution of sleep to heart health and other factors such as uh, metabolic health is well documented. However, its contribution to brain health and in particular to neurodegenerative diseases such as dementia is underreported. It's well reported, however, that disturbed sleep is a symptom of dementia. And in fact, it's one of the first observable symptoms and complaints expressed by patients. But what we're now starting to understand is that in addition to being a symptom of the disease, it actually increases risk of developing dementia. Sleep plays an important role in memory consolidation and processing of information, brain functions that are impaired in dementia. Sleep is also important for clearing toxins for them from the brain and one of these toxins is the sticky protein amyloid beta. And in fact, this protein amyloid beta accumulates in the brain of Alzheimer's disease patients and Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia. And this accumulation of this protein creates an inflammation and an environment that increases cell death. Poor sleep has also been associated with faster rates of memory and thinking decline as well as increased rate of loss of brain tissue, a process we refer to as atrophy, and reduced usage of glucose within the brain, which gives us an indication of how many brain cells there are and how many connections there are between those cells. So this raises a very important question of, if poor sleep is associated with increased risk of memory and thinking decline and dementia, is there anything that we can do to improve our sleep and therefore reduce our dementia risk? And this is where the sleep improvement study that I lead comes in. We're assessing the effect of improved sleep on memory and thinking and markers of brain health. And we are targeting older adults who report that they are poor sleepers and that their memory and thinking isn't as good as it used to be. And this increases their overall risk of developing dementia. We're using a non-drug-based behavioral and psychological approach to improving sleep. And we've chosen this method because rather than simply masking the symptoms of poor sleep, it actually addresses the underlying causes. And we, so far we've had 20 individuals run through the sleep improvement study and the results to date are certainly encouraging. All participants have shown improvements in their sleep. We have also seen improvements in measures of their memory and thinking, as well as improvements in their brain health markers. So these signs are certainly encouraging, but we have more work to do. So to summarize, we know that poor sleep is a symptom of dementia, but we're now starting to understand that it actually also increases our risk of developing dementia. However, this risk appears to be modifiable and such that improving sleep hopefully has a benefit for memory and thinking, as well as for brain health markers in older adults. And with 60% of individuals over the age of 65 impacted by poor sleep, it seems that our work will have a significant impact in the population.